We put an unfair amount of emphasis on our days off, don't we? We hope that they are the thing that's going to keep us going through. When in reality, they generally let us down. We do the same with vacations. We all have said it and we all say it. That after we go on this vacation we've been so looking forward to, we all say, I really need a vacation after my vacation, right? Why? Because the things that we think are going to give us true rest for our souls generally let us down. Why? We are approaching rest in the wrong way. So many of us are on the hamster wheel of life, just going in circles, just hoping that tomorrow will bring the rest and the stillness that we desire. When approached from the wrong way, it will never give us rest. See, rest is a promised gift given after operating in spiritual discipline. It's not an achievable thing in our own strength. It's something that we do God's way and achieve it through him rather than through what the world says. And I don't care what anyone says, a better mattress, a four-day weekend, a vacation from your vacation will never feed your soul the true rest that God promises. But when we live life God's way, according to his promises, according to his lifestyle, we can have rest for our souls and bodies. Church, hear me today. True rest is found in God and through his practices for your life. Come on, church. This is where we find it. Thank God it's Friday.